So hello and welcome YouTubers and Doctor Who fanatics. Yep, we are at the showcase yet again. It is the end of September, almost going to October now. I have said that September, October, no, um, not November, September and October, the showcases are going to be much more lighter because I am saving up for a convention. But don't worry, November will be absolutely huge. It will be the biggest this year. But anyway, I think I know what I'm going to show you in this showcase anyway. It is obviously going to be big finish stuff. Um, good guess. Well, it was an easy guess actually what I usually get. But one of the showcases will be probably different. Because even if you're getting bored of big finish stuff or not. But I'm personally loving them to absolute bits. So yeah, if you don't know what the showcase series is. Or if you're new to the channel. The showcase series is where I show all the Doctor Who merchandise I collect each month. So let's start with the big finish stuff obviously. Starting with uh, the monthly range, I have got Land of the Dead, which was uh, it's actually the first uh, Nyssa audio for Big Finish, so I'm very intrigued about this one. Uh, people say it's quite good, but of course everyone has their own, uh, different opinions. I'm personally quite excited about it. Again, Fifth Doctor, probably not a favourite Doctor of mine, but still he was absolutely brilliant in the Fifth Doctor uh, box set. And this one has like a little map of the setting of... Uh, why well, it's the base of uh, Land of the Dead, so yeah, seems pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely intrigued about this for this one, since it is the first Nissa uh, audio for Big Finish, and uh, for some reason mine's uh, black uh, texted, I thought it would be actually white, but anyway, it is release number 4, so it's an early one, under 50s I do want to complete, and I've almost done that, I'm about 75% done. I've just uh, forgot uh, just a couple of out of print ones and uh, some five pound ones left and that's it, about 12 more and I think I should be done. Anyway, the next one we have Blood Tide. Uh, yeah, someone recommended me this one, I got this one very early September and it's the it's the only Silurian story for Big Finish and people say the Silurians are absolutely fantastic in this audio as well. Features Maggie Stables and Colin Baker in this one. Sadly, Maggie Stables has passed away, which is really bummer since she is a fantastic companion. Anyway, yeah, I can't wait to listen to this one because it's by Jonathan Morris, a writer who I really like. Uh, next one we have uh, Cold It's, and a lot. Uh, this one ties into the Clean or Klein trilogy later on. And uh, yeah, I you have to really listen to this one to get into the Client Trilogy, and I wanted to get this one, and it's in under 50 as well, so that's why I got it. And even David Tennant is in this one as well, so very intriguing. The two-ish Doctors, kind of. So yeah, very intrigued about that one. Very happy uh, David Tennant's in that one. Next one, well, it's not an under 50 one, but I found this one for a very good price, and it is uh, The Castle of Fear by Alan Barnes. Uh, People say it's a fantastic historical. It starts the Stockbridge trilogy, featuring a Castle of Fear and uh, Eternal Summer and Plague of the Daleks. And uh, this one's the first one in the Stockbridge trilogy. Yes, very excited to listen to this one. Uh, if I open the book, there, it does seem like rather of a clumsy story. If I get to the concept art, see by by there, boom, a whoop whoop, a Castle of Fear. It looks a little bit funky, and. Uh, it does look nice. Uh, people say it's a very uh, comedic one, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And we have a recent one, of course, it is The Mask of a Tragedy, which uh, is uh, another Seventh Doctor trilogy. Uh, this one was before Revenge of the Swarm, which was fantastic in my opinion. A Mask of a Tragedy. A lot of people have been complaining for, about Hex in this one. She, he didn't need to be in this one because uh, something happened in Gods and Monsters of him. And that wish uh, people stick to it, and then someone else with Afterlife, and which I won't spoil, and I haven't even listened to it anyway. So uh, people have had mixed opinions on uh, this uh, Seventh Doctor uh, trilogy so far. At the end of it, so I don't mind Hex really. I don't mind it. Maybe if they don't like him, or they they just he didn't need to be in this trilogy. So. Anyway, uh, I won't say what I think about the story because I am going to review it shortly. Yeah, there are all the audios. Uh, sadly, Signs and Wonders has been lost in the post, which is, if you don't know, it's the finale, it's the final uh, Hex story. A lot of people say it's the end of an era, but the beginning of one. Um, sadly, I don't have one, have it, but I do have it as a download free for Big Finish. So I will listen to it, obviously, uh, probably afterwards, 
and then get the CD of that, and then I will review it finally. And uh, I know a lot of people have already seen it anyway, but yeah, it is a uh, the Worlds of Doctor Who, which celebrates. Oh goodness me! <laughs> that actually scared me. <laughs> so I wasn't looking at the camera then. Yeah, it is the 15th anniversary of Big Finish. And this is basically to celebrate in what Doctor Who or what Big Finish have done in their 15 years. And they've made some absolutely fantastic spin offs, which they call the Worlds of Doctor Who. For instance, Jago and Lightfoot, the Countermeasures, uh, the Unit Vault, and uh, the Gamma Frey series. And I've listened to this set, and I, I have to admit, it is absolutely fantastic. It's an absolutely great journey, I found it, and I can't wait to review it and say which one's my favourite story. Uh, Jago and Lightfoot are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they might sound a little bit old, but yeah, they are brilliant. They are so comedic, and I'm definitely inspired to get more Jago and Lightfoot audios, just as the jokes are, and uh, the, the actual spin-off. Countermeasures, I do like them a lot. Unit Gan Gan uh, not, uh, the Unit Vaults, that, yeah, I like them guys too. I need to really know about them a bit more since I need to get the Companion Chronicles of them. And then the Gallifrey series, which I went in completely head up high because I've never listened to a Gallifrey audio. So yeah, can't wait to review it and say my thoughts and opinions on it. As you know, Jago and Life are obviously brilliant. Yes, I got some books actually and I found this one in a charity shop and it really uh, inspired me and it is a... Uh, an eighth Doctor book. I've got, I got a load of these. I've not got all of them, but I would love to get all of them. It is grim, uh, grim reality, and a lot of people uh, state that it's a lot like the Mind Robber. You know, like a fantasy world and all that, and loads of creepy things happen. So yeah, it sounds very intriguing. For some reason, mine doesn't have a picture. You know, it should have a, like a picture of that by there, but for some reason, I don't have one. If you do have the Grim Reality book, tell me if you have a picture there or not. If that's just the book how it's supposed to be, or mine's misprinted. Anyway, it is an Eighth Doctor adventure, so yeah, I will read it at some point. It's it's quite a, it's not actually a long book, 276 pages. Uh, should take me around about three weeks to read, and because I'm a very slow reader when it comes to books. Anyway, uh, these two I was not actually going to get. Well, I wasn't really... Well, it was the prices really that put me off of these ones, but an absolutely lovely person got me these two books, and I'm very thrilled about it. She said that she got them for an absolute bargain from WH Smith, and I'm very grateful that for these two books, and one of them I am absolutely astounded, which I have. Anyway, the first one is... Uh, Whoology, which is a flipping big book, I have to put all the ads up to get it on the whole screen. And yeah, this one is this book is written by Calvin Scott and Mark Wright. And if you don't know, they have written the project series from Big Finish, a big finish. And the the project series is beyond one of the best audios for Big Finish have ever done. I mean, all three of them probably have a listen to Destiny, but the other two are spot on fantastic and. I actually haven't had a look inside this book yet. I definitely have with the other one, but Whoology, I cannot wait to give this one a read. Uh, looking at the back, it's just uh, test your knowledge of the 50 years of Doctor Who. So it basically has everything in this book. And you can see two for £10 of this other one was uh, £10, uh, £5 each. So that's absolutely fantastic. And this one goes for about 13 quid, and it's in brilliant condition. So I'm very happy about that. I have more books to my book collection. A lot of people want me to do a book collection. I will one day. And we come to the final one. I cannot believe as I've got this. But yeah, the price has put me off this one. But it was found for a good price. And it is uh, the vault. So I probably have to hold it up in case it slips. But yeah, like the world's of Doctor Who. But yeah, the vault. I cannot believe I got this one in my collection now. And for the price of it, it Two, you know, two five pounds for each book, and it was ten. That is absolutely a fantastic bargain. If I turn it around, and it's in fantastic condition, you should get it for thirty pounds or something like that. So I'm so happy that I've got this book. If I open it up, it just literally has everything really of the whole fifty years of Doctor Who, from Unearthly Child all the way to uh, well, the Day of the Doctor, really. And yeah. So happy that I have this in my collection, and I would say I probably will be reviewing this book. To have my first book review, I have not ever reviewed a book, and that will probably be the first. I don't know when I'll 
um, review it, but I'm going to read all of it. So uh, thank you so much for watching the showcase video for September 2014. Yeah, if these weren't two weren't included, yeah, it would have been a very small showcase actually, but I'm very happy to at least uh, have the vault. Absolutely, for that price, it's an absolute bargain. So yeah, I've got some fantastic stuff. i got five big finish audios. Uh, of course, November, it'll probably be like, oh, I don't know, 40. And yeah, I've got another Doctor Who 8th Doctor book. And of course, the lovely, absolute gorgeous The Wheels of Doctor Who, which I cannot wait to review. So thank you very much for watching the Showcase series, and I'll see you in my next video. So uh, have a fantastic day.